I'm ready. Hey, I bet y'all are just sick of the lot of uh, gambling, casino gambling. Uh, for those of you who are new to town, uh, we have had wrangling in, in Alabama politics for years about bingo. Uh, Indians seem to get mixed up in it. Uh, the current state of affairs is there's one uh, high-stakes bingo casino in the state. It's run by the Porch Band of Creek Indians, the one federally recognized tribe. So how does it happen that an Indian tribe gets to ignore state law and run a casino? Well, it's this thing called federalism, federal system of government. Same reason that Georgia bans firework sales and Alabama has stores right on the state line selling fireworks to Georgians. You can only, you, know, you can't control what the next state does, you can't control what the Indian tribe does. Who are the Indians we're talking about? Well, the two principal tribes in Alabama history are the Creeks, the largest nation in the south, and the Choctaws to the west. Um, they've been here for an incalculable amount of time, and then along came the swarm of Europeans. Uh, they were overwhelmed by sheer numbers and uh, driven out by force by about 1845. Um, the, uh, the white people who came into the South eventually conceived of the struggle as a race, race conflict, but it's really absurd to think of the Indians as a race, partly because race is a myth, partly because what's really significant about them is that they are the heirs of the first Americans, the first people here. That's a cultural and, and illegal status. Um, Indian removal was not completely successful. There's a small town in South Alabama called Porch. Uh, the people there, although they lived much like their white and black neighbors, preserved their Indian identity. They struggled for generations to prove to the federal <coughs> government that they were Indian. Eventually, in 1984, a little patch of land next to Atmore, Alabama, was reclaimed legally as Indian territory. There's not much in Porch, not much to offer tribal members and to keep them there except a very boring stretch of I-65. The Seminole tribe of Florida, though, by this time, had ventured into high-stakes bingo as a money-making process. The annual revenue went from $2 million to $600 million. It transformed the tribe. Uh, this is the kind of self-sufficiency that a lot of tribes had striven for, but you can't do that just anywhere. No one's going to come here for a casino. So, but the porch band uh, has tried it, and uh, there is now governing law that controls what's going on. I am not a lawyer, but I'm going to bring up the, the key concept from the Indian Gaming Regulatory Act is that of a compact. When the surrounding state doesn't allow the kind of gaming the tribe wants, the state and the tribe are supposed to enter into uh, honest negotiations. Alabama is now in its 21st year of refusing to talk to the porch creeks. Um, that's our state motto. Uh, it has something to do with it. Uh, the thing about casino gambling is it's a great, it, it makes barrels of cash. That's great if you're fleecing tourists. If the people spending the cash are your own people and you're a government, then as an economic development strategy, it really sucks. Uh, some people don't much care if it does or not. Uh, Milton McGregor is a dog track owner who took a page out of the Creek's book and introduced high-stakes gambling to his dog tracks, although the consensus was that it's unlawful in Alabama. Uh, there's been a full court press now to legalize it by one means or another. The Indians are once again brought in as sort of uh, someone to, to beat up on uh, and attack the opposition by uh, association with. That, that commercial is fascinating if you have a chance to check it out. Race baiting in Alabama is always uh, something to be done with care, but I think there's some going on in this, in this issue. Um, the subtext is, we're going to have bingo in Alabama anyway, so who's going to benefit, Indians or white people? Who's going to get the profits? The status currently is that Riley, as he left office, tried one more time to uh, find a way to get the state to forbid casino gambling. Uh, he was told there's no way out of it. You've got to enter a compact. That's the best deal you can get. Well, Indians can't manage money, can they? They sold Manhattan for $24. And if they do get rich, it's going to ruin their culture, isn't it? Well, these are myths that we can discard. Uh, one thing the Porch Creeks have found is that respect for their culture actually increases, even at Talladega Super Speedway, uh, as they become more visible and more, more uh, self-sustaining. I want to end with uh, Jim Madsen's uh, portrait of a 21st century Indian child. Um, the race is a myth, but Indian people are real. 
Uh, they're here to stay. And, and when the bingo issue comes back, and it will, I want to ask you to talk to the Indians instead of about them. Thanks.